Welcome aboard the BioTrain. In this video, we take it straight from the notebook with the factors that affect enzyme action. The four factors that affect an enzyme's ability to turn substrates into products are enzyme concentration, substrate concentration, temperature, and pH. Both enzyme concentration and substrate concentration have the same effect on enzyme action. Let's look at the effect of enzyme concentration first. With the substrate concentration held constant, when you increase the enzyme concentration, the rate of enzyme action increases to a certain point and then levels off. As the enzyme concentration increases, there is more enzyme available to catalyze the substrate. But once you reach a certain point, all the substrate is being catalyzed as quickly as possible and adding more enzyme will not increase the rate of reaction. The same relationship exists when you have a fixed enzyme concentration and you increase the substrate concentration. As the substrate concentration increases, the reaction rate increases to a certain point and then levels off. The other two factors that affect enzyme action are temperature and pH. As the temperature increases, the reaction rate also increases. The increased temperature causes the molecules to move more quickly, which allows the enzymes to bind with the substrates more quickly and catalyze the reactions. The reaction rate continues to increase until it reaches its optimum temperature. When the temperature goes above the optimum temperature, the enzyme can begin to denature, which causes the reaction rate to decrease. When an enzyme denatures, it loses its shape and is no longer able to do its function. The last factor that affects enzyme action is pH. Every enzyme works best at an optimal pH. Pepsin and trypsin are two different enzymes that work best at different pHs. If you go above the optimal pH or below the optimal pH, then the reaction rate drops off because the enzyme begins to denature and lose its shape. This graph doesn't show the correct pH ranges for pepsin or trypsin, but it does show the correct relationship of the effect of pH on an enzyme. To review, the four factors that affect enzyme action are enzyme concentration, substrate concentration, temperature, and pH. I hope that helps you stay comfortably seated on the biotrain.